Qatar, you know, Do you settlement. condemn the Palestinians doing the very same thing? If there's an Israeli doing that, I condemn him. In uh, okay. one year ago, two years ago, there were two Israelis. They killed an Arab guy. They didn't do anything wrong. Everyone called them terrorists. They are in, sitting in jail right now. Do you condemn the opposite? Wait, because we condemn it. I'm sorry. I talked to you enough. I'm saying, but why do you have a 10 year old son? Why does it matter? From 2006. Why does it matter? Is that what matters? I'm talking to him. I don't know. The occupation still goes on. I'll talk to you as well. Okay. Okay, which part is occupied? Which part is occupied? Israel has to recognize Palestine. What, which, what, what Just is, like it to, agreed to. No, but to you, to you, what is Palestine to you? West Bank and Gaza. West Bank, because that's not what the Palestinians want. They were offered that, they said no. So, like, how do you do it? What if do I mean? offer you something they, and you say no, if I offer you something and you say no. They agreed to it. It's just that Rabin was assassinated. Remember that? No, our friend was like, no, I want a better deal. No, I do not want just the West Bank and Gaza. I'm sorry, you can't refuse a deal. And then... <laughs> They already accepted the deal. They did the not PLO accept the did. deal. They, re they refused the deal. They were waiting for the next American president because they were expecting to get more of it. And the reason why they wanted it was not no. to just settle in that land and have a country. They were like, and Arafat were was going around. They'd be like, when he was still giving the impression that he was going to accept, he was going around being like, this is only temporary. Whatever they give us, we're going to use to destroy their states. I'm sorry, but when you have that, you're not going to have peace. And the problem is that you're encouraging Palestinians to keep being violent, to keep doing this, which is what is killing them. No one wants to kill them, the but they PLO, keep doing this. Excuse me, the PLO was not attacking Israel or any Israeli soldiers either. They were not. <laughs> In the West Bank? You need a new sign. Uh, they to even arrest Palestinians that Israel you tells them to. It's all dirty and stained. You need a new sign. Uh, Why? It's all dirty and stained. That doesn't make well, it, it looks good like that. Yeah, it, it shows they has the experience. You have great yeah. <laughs> You have experience. Yeah. How many did you sell your place for? Two million dollars? Not yet. Okay, how much two million dollars? No, 588,000. So you're a rich guy, you're a rich socialist, you're a rich socialist. I've, I've, I've done, I've done, done okay. I fixed up two houses yeah. and, and uh, I sold one house for double the price that I bought it for. Very good. Because I know how to work. So you believe in capitalism? I'm a worker. You believe in capitalism? No, I believe in my own work. My that's, own work gave me a benefit. That's still capitalism. You couldn't, that's couldn't not have, capitalism. Of course it's capitalism. Well, you know, private, personal property would still exist under socialism. Don't be, don't be well, ridiculous. Not, not, not that you can, without paying taxes on it. You don't you even know what capitalism is. I, I don't know what capitalism is. Okay, it's not, it's not I, personal I property. What? It's no, corporation, it's part, it's corporations. Part, know, that's part of it. It's a complicated thing. That's yeah, part. well, okay. Why do you come inside? You should have come inside. They won't let me in. They won't let you in. No. How many elections have you come? Yeah, yeah. You would have come. Yeah. Really? Sure, why not? I don't, I don't know if to believe you, and I know you long enough. I'm in favor of, uh, of releasing the hostages in exchange for Palestinian hostages. No problem. Yeah, Palestinian hostages? Oh, yeah, 10,000. Oh, they're hostages. They're not prisoners. No. Because maybe, uh, maybe the hostages in the, the, the hostages well, there's 563 that have blood on their hands. Yes, okay. out of 10,000. Okay. And then there's 2,000 under so administrative detention. You, you know what an administrative detention is? What? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, no charge. Okay. That means they're not guilty. Right, right. right. Okay, so. Are they being tortured? Yeah. No, no, no. They have special who torture has techniques. Who has better they have a little stool, who has and better then they attach, you know, your feet on one side. And they attach, you know, your your arms on the other side, and you're supposed to stay like that for the whole day. Who has better conditions? The prisoners in Israel or the hostages? Who has better conditions? Who has better conditions? Yeah. In Gaza, the hostages do. The hostages do. Yeah, they're taken care of. They're protected. Except when Israel bombs them and kills them. Yeah. I was going to say that. You know, for a, you know, for a fact, this point is talking. To anyone here. The only, only people who could say you can see, you see how this now. Could say oh that is the Red Cross. Yeah. Why isn't the Red Cross allowed to go in there? Where? Where, where the hospital is being held. So they can give an objective viewpoint. Okay, I agree. You agree, Francis? Yeah, okay, so. Then, so then you could say you don't know. If you're honest. Well, I'm talking about the interviews with the hostages who have been released. That's not the same thing as the number of people there. But the Red Cross never came. Okay. It would be better, yeah, yeah, yeah. You do this every week? Yeah. They have <laughs> incredible excuses, you know, all sorts of excuses, you know, not talk about genocide. So this girl said, like, it's not true what you see on the videos, it's all like actors and stuff. Like the, the, the death that we're seeing coming from Gaza, oh, and that's oh. what she believes. And, that, and then, and then after but she they don't changed, see that. They, they she only said, "Oh, some of them are actors." <laughs> <laughs> but the, these people, they only listen to the television news, mainstream television news, and that's it. They don't know any more than that. It's horrible. Yeah. But so you like brainwashed? I don't know. 
Yeah, they're allowing it to continue. Because of them, it's continuing. If the Jewish people, you know, in the diaspora, you know, spoke up and said, no, we don't accept this, not just, you know, younger generation, if not now people, but if the regular, you know, Jewish people, you know, would say, no, stop this, they would have to. But they don't. They did. You and me? Should have gone to care for you. I have to, I have to, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm scheduled for an operation to replace my knee. Yeah, yeah. In uh, two weeks. Okay. Can I, can I, I live close by. I can get you a chair. No, 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 no. <laughs> really? Like, seriously, I'm like two blocks away. Yeah, but, no, it's I'm not I'm like a long chair. As long, you know, like, as long as I don't have to walk mm. and, and sit down and stand up, you know, bend the knees, then I'm okay. If Standing I, is okay? Yeah. What? Cool bro? Oh. Peace in the Middle East. Peace in the Middle East. Peace in the Middle East. Oh, and that's a Tesla. I always look for Teslas as if you know they'll be more enlightened people. <laughs> look at but that they're behavior, not. no. Yeah. He spit it at me. <laughs> at us. Oh, really? Oh my. <laughs> Wow, such class. Yeah, well. And that guy who was talking about how old your thing is, I mean. Yeah, he's trying to like, make me feel bad, yeah. to dehumanize me. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh yeah. my god, this is my first experience. I, I see this, first time ever. <laughs> this, is horrible. this is where the work is, you know. I was going to the, I went to the first five, six demonstrations of Palestinians after October the 7th. You know, the Jewish banners to show that Jewish people are supporting. And there are always rabbis there, too. Yeah, yeah, the Nturikarta, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, but everybody knows already, you know, mm -hmm. like there's no purpose for me to be there. So I figured I'm going to come here mm -hmm. and do some direct action, you know, educational work, you know, where it counts. And wow. it is, it's good, you know. But everybody else is afraid to come here. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to Also, the Jewish tonight. Marxists, you know, don't care about the Jewish people. They don't know how to talk with the Jewish people. Mm. And the assimilated Jewish people, who before, you know, uh, before Palestine came around, you know, didn't even consider themselves to be Jewish. All of a sudden they're Jewish. Okay, fine, you know, finally you're willing to do something. Mm. And it helps to be, you know, Jewish to do it. <laughs> but they will not come here, mm. you know, because they have no idea of, you know, uh, revolutionizing the Jewish people. You know, what I'm doing is a Jewish revolution against the Zionist parties. Yeah, yes, yes. So I'm looking yes. for other, you know, Jewish people who will, who will understand how important it is to do so. Yeah. And that was on the side before it Okay, I thought you were talking to us. <laughs> She's on the phone. <laughs> um, so, but is it okay if some Arabs come and join you? Or do you prefer... Yes, like, there was, but they have to learn from me how to speak with the Jewish people. Mm -hmm. There was a uh, Chilean activist who came here, Sandra Cadero, and uh, one day, she came here earlier than me, she was all alone, mm -hmm. and she was holding a Palestinian flag, and there was an old Jewish man who was coming to the center there. Mm -hmm. She was standing in front. She, she goes up to him and says, Are you a Jew? You know, so uh, the guy freaks out and starts, you know, yelling at her and everything like that. Hello, Good day to you. Hi. Oh, your knee is hurting. Sorry? Your foot is hurting. 30 years. Oh. Yeah, I my knee, I have to have an operation on my knee in two yes, weeks. I from war. From war? Yeah. Which oh. war? I in Yugoslavia, in Croatia, you know, oh. 1991. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, that was NATO that they destroyed Yugoslavia. Oh. This is 2000. Oh. Between each other. Oh, I see. I mean, what, what, what's wrong with humans? Are we so stupid that we cannot stop wars? Yeah. You know, it keeps on going on and on and on. You know, like. Smart people want to start the war. Yeah. Okay, I need to go there. Okay, see you. Yeah. And security doesn't bother you here? Yeah? They they are sympathetic with me. <laughs> at first, you know, I came here first in April 18th. Um, I was at a Holocaust uh, meeting, a meeting of uh, Holocaust survivors. Okay. I'm second generation myself. Mm, tell me, okay. Mm. So going out, you know, like on the lamppost there at the entranceway, there was a sign for Israel Day Parade, 75th anniversary. Very colorful, you know, like design. Mm -hmm. 
So I said, oh, no, no. <laughs> and then, you know, like I'm turning 75 as well, you know, at that uh, time. Uh. So I said, no, I can't let this pass. Mm. So I went and mar wrote in a little space uh. 